welcome everyone welcome back to another UGS programming stream so I'm back like a, a good AI from the future coming to the past to save everyone but in this case I'm just trying to save this game hello there Hello, hello. So, today, as per usual, Fridays. So, on Fridays, we have development of the game, in this case, Drawing. Yes. Uh, we have multiple games. And before we start developing, let me show you a little nice thing that we have right now at ugs.pt yes indeed we have updated our website yes we have a new website and by the way this website is actually responsive so we can just put it small you know and bigger, whatever. You can actually access this website on your phone. Pretty cool. And in here, you, as you can see, there is our game that we are developing right now, but there is also some sneak peeks of previous projects, you know. For example, Exaria and Red Run. When I say previous projects, it's like projects in the making. For example, Exauria. Uh, it's available on each I.O. the alpha version. Actually, it's something that we should indicate in here. Because it's available on each I.O. but it's the alpha version. Now that I think of it, we should do something in here. But yes, you can access Exauria, the alpha version, which was made on... Uh, JavaScript using the P5 library, wherever we have a new version in the makings. Right now it's paused because we are developing Drawing. But yes, the new version is on Godo. It's completely different from the engine that we are working right now, which is Unity. And by the way, not only Drawing, but also Red Run was made is being made in Unity, May, was made, it's the alpha version that we have available on each I.O. It's another platformer, you know, you can try it out. And uh, talking about uh, development in Godot in Xaria, you can see some previous streams, so you have access to the VOD of our previous streams on Xaria on our YouTube channel, you know. There's the link in where is the link to YouTube? No YouTube in here? Oh, well, another thing to have in these buttons, the YouTube button to, you know, subscribe to our channel. But anyway, new website, you know. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> Oops, forgot, forgot YouTube. Yep. Ah, no problem. No problem, Roxy. Kinda thank you for developing this website that was something that actually was for me to do because I'm the programmer on our team and for those who know websites they kind of have to be programmed you know in HTML CSS JavaScript stuff you know uh, it was to be my work but as you know developing in here it's kind of you know, a little bit slow. I can't be programming Drawing, then Xauria, then our website and everything else, you know. So, <laughs> it's the trauma from YouTube. Well, maybe. But anyway, new website. Love it. Love it indeed. And uh, today, as you have guessed it, we are going to program more stuff in Drawing. 
I was kind of thinking about animations. Maybe not. It depends on what animations we have done, you know? But to for those who were tuned in the previous game dev stream, more specifically the previous programming game dev stream, because in the past week was Pixel John is actually in the chat. He made a stream developing uh, animations, you know, working on that. But uh, in the other week, it was actually me programming stuff. We end up the stream as per usual in a bug, and that bug was being fixed. So for those who wonder how it's, it was fixed, I actually post on our Discord. Link, link is down below. We have a Discord community. We where you can join and yes I usually end up a stream with a bug because you know it's me I like to give future Kado more work to to fix the game you know he I'm pretty sure he's not very happy about that but you know it's future Kado he can deal with that and uh, he usually posts that resolution or, or how the bug was fixed on discord so you can join that you can join that our discord community down below and yeah i think we can we can start our development for today so let's just see chat is doing something so i did push a bunch of animations not sure if everything's up there but there's quite a few animations you could do the cow I like the cow. Ooh, the cow. You have a new enemy. Hmm, I see. We need to make a crowdfunding for poor future cow. Just to soften the blow. Well, future cow will be very happy to tell you that. you. Yes, indeed, you can. Crowdfunding is programming adventures. Because we actually have ways to do that. Yes, indeed. I have closed the website, but... Let me open really quick. UGS.pt. Dot PT because we are based in Portugal, so there is the domain. But yes, there let me see. Our game socials about Well, there isn't a button, but you can find it very fast. So you can support us on Ko-Fi, Patreon as well. Let me just confirm that the the Patreon page is up and running and everything is fine. Yes, indeed. So you can support us in there. Just a warning. We are not very active yet on the Patreon because, you know, there is not many people in there. But you can support us there. When you can support us on Ko-Fi, like pay us a coffee. I'll be very appreciator. There is the red bubble for some merch, if you want. So future Kado will be very appreciative if you, you know, give us breath to eat because people need to eat as well, you know. We don't live just with oxygen. But there you go. Something in common that we have. It's like we have to work, we have to eat. And yeah. So let's just and this plugging stuff all over the place and actually start working, you know, because I can't ask support without giving something back, which in this case, showing you how we were developing our game, you know. Or you could do the E-E-N. Yes, that wasn't a misspelling. For those who don't know what is E Ian. It's basically this little dude, but instead of being a playable character, it's actually something else. We may see it in this stream, maybe not, who knows? Since that guy is supposed to chase you faster than other enemies. Well, that's something that is, you know, balancing to do in the future. And we can easily just select an enemy, a change, you know, 
the speed, patrol speed, target speed, all those beautiful things already programmed, you know? But before you start, before we start, we need something to hear, you know? Because I can talk all the time, but a nice stream always has some music, you know? Per usual, I'm going to play this um, 8 bit, you know, chip tune music that I have bought the rights to play it on the stream, you know? So, no copyrights again. I previously recommended, you know, um, indie games and play their soundtracks on stream, but, well, as all good things has to come to an end. And yes, so for our stream to not be muted for some stupid reason, I'll just play music that I own the rights. And so let's begin. I don't know if the volume is good or not. I haven't messed around since last stream, so I hope it's actually good, the volume. But anyway, we have music, we have Unity opened, we have also Visual Studio opened too, so I believe we can start working. And so, let me see more things on the chat, you could maybe also maybe try to make something for it to climb walls when you are wall jumping away from it. If possible, I understand it could be extra work and complicated stuff, probably. You won't fall for their trickery, the copyright trickery. It's good volume, I dig it. Well, then I don't have to mess around with volume, yay! Fantastic. Now, about the wall climbing... You know, maybe something for future Kado? Because, you know, wall climbing is something that I may or may not do. This dude just literally flies, so there is no wall climbing for it. But this dude... This is the spider one, isn't it? Does the spider one walks on walls? I don't think it was on the GDD. And for those who don't know, GDD is basically the... Um, the game design documentation, where we just write everything that we must do on our game, you know? Like... Writing down our ideas and how the game is going to be, so we don't forget futures, you know? Walking on walls. How does one will do that? But before we just start, you know, shooting around for new things to be done, let's just, you know, open a folder. Let me just hide this so you don't see my folders, let me just do this, yeah, something like this is fine, yeah, so, I have done a, a fetch from our git repository and there's new stuff, yes, but there is stuff from things that I actually don't want to start working right now. Which is, I can do a sneak peek. Not like this. Well, I guess it's leaked, you know. Boss animations, you know. Just a quick, fast sneak peek. Uh, for that guy, I was thinking he was just gonna walk on the surface, either floor or ceiling, but no pressure either way. No one needs to talk to walk on walls. Now, the ceiling, I don't think it's something 
that easy or is it let me just do something pretty fast just to test it so gravity scale let me just make it negative just you know to test a thing I just want to make sure of one thing. Yeah, he's spinning around because of the, you know, patrol thingy system, you know? But yeah, you, we can do walking on walls. <laughs> Who could have guessed it? He would have to flip the sprites. That as well, yes, that as well. But that, it will need to be something, you know. Well, flipping the sprites it could be done in code, you know. Because if we access the enemy sprite, we can just flip it on Y axis as well, you know. See? So it's pretty easy to do. There's nothing new in here. Although it will be, let me see, I think that wouldn't be a problem though. You just need to confirm what is, this is the touch attack, yeah, it wouldn't be a problem on the enemy front, so. It could be done. The other problem is the wall movement, because the wall movement will need to have something to detect the wall and then disable the you know disabling the the gravity and then vertical speed so for the thing just walk on the wall and then if detected a ceiling just to turn around and start walking on the ceiling So the little spider guy would only walk on either ceiling or floor. Like one would walk on ceiling and another one on floor. I think the problem with the infected Ian will be more the switching between floor and wall. I think the pro okay, okay. Now, the sprites between the floor and ceiling doesn't matter, it will just be, you know, the y-axis, I can really easy do that, you know? Did I reverse? Yes, let me just do something really fast, you know, just to show you. On y-axis, and let me just... Yeah, it doesn't matter. I can switch to the scene and we can see, you know, something pretty fast, you know, see? I mean, we, co we, we could arrange the collisions so the, the legs wouldn't, you know, go through the wall. But it's fairly easy to put an enemy on the ceiling. That will need to, you know, be very careful on level design as well, because if there is a, wa a wall, the enemy will literally fall. In this case, it's not fall, it's like ascending to the skies, you know? Like, like if it was being pulled through the sky. Because it's a, it has negative gravity, you know? That's a way to do it. There are also other ways, but, you know, something to think in the future. Future car, you know, future car. It wasn't something that I was thinking about doing this stream. But there is something that we can think, you know. But yeah, there's barely any spots to on the levels where there is no ceiling. Yes, but you know, that the problem is... Let me just open paint, just to explain that. For example, if you have a shaft, you know, like paint time with CAD, you know, to show my artist skills, you know. Let's talk about, for example, a level like this. 
like a boss place, you know? Yeah, Vian, in here, very happy, you know. He's walking around and stuff. And there, there's an enemy, you know? Yeah, an enemy. Because, you know, legs and stuff. This enemy walks around. Let me just make the hitbox smaller. And he was walking on the, the ceiling, for example. In here, there is a wall. And because the gravity is negative, you will just arrive in here and will stop. Because it's just a wall. But if you will patrol in the other direction and arrive at this corner, you know, when he goes above that, he'll just fall. Like that, you know? Unless he will just be on a patrol system, you know, like there is a patrol point in here and another patrol point in here, you know, and the enemy will just be da -da 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 and back and forth. But there is another problem, which is the the pursuing system, like all enemies have a radar to chase our character, you know, and if our Ian will just like wall jump, wall jump, wall jump and go up, you know, the enemy will actually try to pursue Ian, our playable character, and it will fall literally to the sky. You know? So even if uh, even if most of the level design is like cave-like, it wouldn't be a good system. Let's just put it that way. It wouldn't be a, a good system. I mean, I guess we could just make it detectable if he's like in here, you know? Instead of falling, he will just stick to the wall and just change, let's just put it to 90 degrees, not this 90. This one, and just start walking on the, the wall, vertical, you know? But that will be a new moving system, you know? It basically will need to be another movement script. Like, we have the flying enemy, right? We have this flying enemy, which is his own movement system. Like the enemy, you know? Well, another thing to develop, you know? Something to think of. I could explain somewhat, you know? We have the move enemy, which is the same that we have in here, move enemy, and the way this enemy moves will be different from the way this flying enemy moves. It will be different from the spider thing. There's a lot of stalactites in these caves. It will just be a matter of positioning them strategically so that issue doesn't happen. That could be a solution, but to make things easier, I probably will just make it literally walk on the on platforms, you know. That will probably be the solution. But yet again, that will need to be a system that actually flips around the sprite itself. Like, rotates it, you know? Hmm. What do you think, chat? Should I just develop a system for that movement and forgot animation for this stream? Because, you know, I have some sprites that I can use. I can implement this dude as well, you know? Let me just try to show a little bit of this dude, you know? You have this dude to make. And we have infected Ian, although there is not much sprites in here. That's probably by design. We are trying to make like 
the old games where there isn't a lot of sprites, you know? Oh, I will dig. Would you like... Uh, okay. Okay. So instead of animations, let's just... Yeah. Screw animations. Who cares about animations? Future Cado can deal with animations. We can just make... A spider boy. You know? Because everyone loves spider boys. So. Uh, yeah. There is... There. Let's just close the cow thing. You can do animations if you want. No, no, no. There's no problem. There's no problem. I'm actually going to do something... You know. Based on that. So we have the arts. Uh, anime objects. Characters and all. Let me just... Spider. Flying demon. Flying death player. Blah, blah, blah. Let's just create a folder called as cow. Because moo moo enemy, you know? Let me just confirm something. So the spider, there's that. But he doesn't, doesn't set up anything. Mm, so, characters, cow, let's just import this thing, you know? Grounded enemy. I can change this later because whatever. But let me just set up this properly, you know? I don't even remember how to do it though. That's multiple sprite editor. There you go. And one, two, three, four, five. So, what was it? Sprite editor. Not automatically. It's by count and rows, column is five, slice, apply. There you go. Done. Then, no, we need the, the point so pixels wouldn't become, you know, very rounded. But there you go. Cow! Fear the cow! Yes, indeed! Fear the cow! The cow is in here and he can hurt you, you know? Wait a second. Uh. That's a very small cow, by the way. Oh, that's actually red. Okay. It's a very, very... small thing in red. But anyway, let's just, for example, drag this red. Why is it different? Do we have different resolution... image? Yes, we have. God damn it. God damn it. Why you do this to me? Why you need to be like that? God damn it. Now I need to make it bigger. Let me just put it side by side and just try to find something. Approximately like something close to the real size, you know? By the way, this is just a band aid. In the final release, you need to set every single, every single image to the same resolution on export. When I say same resolution, I say same pixel size for every image. That's the thing. They are designed at the same scale, it will be the same pixel size. They are though, they are the same resolution. Yes, they are. No, they aren't. I'm pretty sure they aren't. 
But I can just prove that. Let me just... I mean, the version that I have on Unity, by the way. They, I'm not talking about one that you probably already mess around. But let me just confirm that in here. Oh, they are actually the same pixel size on the... In here. But in here, on Unity, it's probably an older version of it. No, they aren't. They are actually the same resolution. Why the hell are you big? This big? What the heck is going on? They are actually like 32 pixels. And this dude is actually 32 pixels as well. What the weird thing? Pixels per unit, 14. Oh, it is this thing in here. This idiot in here, 14. Sprite mode, 14 pixels per unit. So if I select this dude, go back to it, come on, and I select 14 pixels per unit, and apply of course, you know, there we go, fix it, one pixel per unit is at 100, and another is at 60. It was actually 14. I think. So that's going to be a nightmare in the future. Oh. There is another problem in here. And I think you know what I'm talking about, right? I'm pretty sure this is not just me. Let me just like... 16, 17... You know? So, pixel units of this is... out of whack everywhere. Watson, we have a problem. A big problem. So 14... For this spider dude, it's 14... More things. Style set. Style set. 16... 14? And I need to apply it. And that probably made things worse. Probably made things worse because I clearly noticed it. This happening, you know. It's 14 or 16. Yeah, it was the tile sets I left them at for at 16. I mean, I'm going to leave them at 16, like they were originally, and then, you know, Future Cado can deal with this stuff, you know, Future Cado, Pixel John, you know, we can deal this in the future, because, you know, 
if I mess around with the pixel size in here, it will affect the doors, it will affect a bunch of stuff and that. I don't want to do boring stuff on stream, you know? I want to do something fun, like making the spider crawl walls and ceilings, you know? But anyway, start blasting. And I'm going to blast these dudes out of my screen. I'm going to replace this little spider by the cow sprite. Where are you, my friend? There you are. So I want the moo moo in here instead. And because I now have this moo moo in here, that's gray. I don't like gray. I don't like gray. I want red. There we go. Red eyes. I want them red. There we go. This one is... is good. Yeah, why are they red? That's a great question. Well, I know, I know the answer, it's, you know, I'm using this, this in here, which is a non-finished version of the, you know, this sprite. I don't know if, yeah, we can show this on stream, whatever. Uh, this is what I have. So if there's something new missing on the Git repository, you know, stuff, things. But anyway, this is what I have, and uh, that was actually a good idea not starting with the animations, you know, because as what I see there, I, don't, I still don't have access to stuff, or if I have access to stuff, there's problems in here. Wait a sec. In here they are red. Doing that Windows bullshit thing. In here they are red. They are actually red in here. But when I imported them, when I imported this to Unity, for some stupid reason, some of them are grey. What the heck is going on? In here they are clearly red. But in here not. There must be something about this stupid thing in here. It must be. It must be something from this. Some weird ass Windows shenanigans going on. I will say Unity shenanigans going on. Well, Future Cat can also deal with that. Whatever. Let's just move on. Because, you know. I don't want to spend my entire streaming looking at this stuff. I just want to, you know, look at this dude and make this dude actually properly in the correct manner. So, this is the touch attack. There is this dot in here. I want to move this forward. So, in the X, it will go somewhere like in here. There we go. Now, patrol can also go forward. Something like that. The touch system got forward as well. Vision, I think it's proper. The vision in there. We can, well, we could make it bigger or not. Doesn't matter, you know. 
like 16, uh, 14, yeah, something like that. There we go. Like 3, because you know, the back doesn't seem too much. And the collision for this dude must be proper, you know? So, horizontal, that's correct. Indeed. Let's just make it slightly bigger. There we go. And make it like that. Something like that, you know? It can be even more bigger. Something like this. There we go. There we go. Point four, maybe. That's too big. Point four. Let's just try thirty-five. Thirty-four. Yeah, that's good, that's good, something like that, let's just see if our cow enemy works properly or not. Yeah, working as intended, fantastic, really fantastic, now let's just me check something, you know what I'm going to do? Destructible. I'm going to do something funny. Haha! -ha! I may have done something but he just stopped, you know, pursuing me for some stupid reason. Uh, that's not supposed to happen though. But anyway. What's going on? To make him not do that. I don't want him to do that. I think that may be the patrol, the radar. Where is the dot of this thing? That explains why. That explains why. So if I move this forward. And then the collider back. Let me see. Like 80, because why not? But that's the thing, even if I pull it back, even more back, it still wouldn't do nothing because, you know, colliding with itself. You know, it's probably fine. 
Yeah. Yeah. So, he now sees me. Now it doesn't. Now he sees me. Now it doesn't. And I can ride him around. Yeah, he can flick sometimes because, you know, there is a point when he's going to... The vision is going to, you know, start screwing around. But basically, I just make Ian the ability to jump over it. Oh shit, it's high double alien zombie cow. Yep, yep, that's actually what I just did. But still, there's something missing here. Which we actually need for it to be rideable, in quotes. So let's just make this collision even more sharper. So size, let's just make it even smaller. Like two. Not 20, two. Make it like that, maybe. Like 30. Yeah, 30 I think it's a good number. I like that. There we go. Now we can change this if we want as well. But right now it's okay, it's okay. Now what I'm going to do, let me just ask in chat because it is just random. Do you actually want Ian being able to jump on top of this dude? This could be fun gameplay mechanic. I got to make a less spiky looking cow, so that makes sense visually. Or, I could actually make this do damage to our character, by the way. So the character can ride this dude, but it will also take damage as well. You know what? I'm actually going to do that, because why not? Why the hell not? You know? We have a capsule collider in here. I can actually make another. I can actually make another. Can't have component capsule collider to touch attack because it conflicts. Oh, come on. Man, I wanted to do Exactly. So. We want an horizontal one. We want to move it up in here. Actually not. I don't want this in here. Remove. Or do I? Yeah, I'm going to leave this in here and then I'm going to do something special. Yeah, so let me just, but that will be different because we could actually make something different with different values of damage if the player is on top of this dude. Yes, that's actually going to, yeah, let's just do the something different. So, we have this enemy, you know, I'm actually going to need to... Change this enemy to a cow. Let me go to pro prefabs just to make sure. And let me do something here. We have this enemy prefab. Exactly. 
And now we are going to have another one. Would you like to create a new original prefab or a variant of the existing prefab cow? I want original. Because this is a brand new different dude. There you go. So, you know, the spider dude, I can just put it in here. Because, you know, I was affecting a lot this prefab and I want this, you know, to be the standard. You know? Just be the standard in here and I don't want to mess too much around with this. So, let's just go back to the... What am I doing? You move forward and you move backwards. Because, you know, you are this dude, you stay in here, you are the OG one. We are not going to forget this spider enemy. That's to mess around in the future. And... Ian, just move forward. And get close to this dude. So this is the area of the flying enemy. It goes here I'm going to create a new area so let's just go to the tile set shall we so tile map in here so what's the one that joins the wall I'm always struggle with this one I always struggle with this I should actually program it properly, but you know. Having more work now because I don't ask Future Cat nicely to do this, you know, it's something that I'm used to, you know? So, in here. And there we go. I'm doing the tile map and not background. Awesome. Fantastic, something like this, you know. Let's just do this and maybe put a door in here because why not? Doors should stay on the door and switch things. This door should be active and should be an auto door. There we go. Fantastic properly done now Ian moving here and the cow dude can go something like here of course we need something for him to walk around because you know he needs to have a patrol area so let's just give him a patrol area like two waypoints so this waypoint links to the next and the next waypoint links to the first and the cow where is the patrol I need to select the patrol and it needs to target this waypoint there we go correct I think it is now this patrol things can go to the patrol waypoint and the cow is now in there I'm just gonna organize the hierarchy properly because you know I need another thing in here like enemies push them inside there you go. Actually, this needs to be zero all around. There we go. Now they are correctly in place. You are used to past cat shenanigans. Yes, indeed. That asshole always leaves me work to do. You know? Pascado, 
go screw yourself. But anyway, putting these eight on past cardo aside, let's just do something fine, you know? We have Ian in here, we have this enemy in here, we are cow, let's just do something different. I'm going to add a new game object in here. And this game object will be something specific, which will be called Platform Effector. And this Platform Effector is very specific. Because what I want from this platform effector is basically to have a capsule collider. It needs to be triggered. And you know why it needs to be triggered. And we can actually do fun things with this. So first off, let's just make it horizontal. Because I actually want to set up just make it two yeah it can be two and move it around because why not doesn't matter so this in here it will basically be the area that I can jump around this dude let's just make 2.4 maybe or actually check the collisions, which is actually a bigger area. Okay, it needs to be even bigger and higher up. So let's just make it three, because why not? Something like this. Now let's just check. Why am I doing a trigger collider outside of this? So basically, this is the collider of our enemy, you know? The one that we can't touch. I mean, we can touch, we can collide, but we can go through it, you know? This is the enemy collider. This on top, it's basically a detection system. What I'm going to do with this detection system, I'm going to implement code that basically got, it's going to tell if our character touch this, it's basically going to drag it around. And it's going to make, basically make this enemy rideable. In a good way, you know? Now, let me just set up this properly, because it must be. Probably this is good, probably this is good, in here it isn't, but in here it is. Yeah, there you go, platform effects are done. Now, before we program this platformer, I want to give him damage. And we already have something done for that, which is basically where it is, where it is. Damage, from damage, come on. What it is called? To touch attack. Touch attack. Touch attack. The script is touch attack. There you go. We have attack, touch attack. And I want to add a touch attack to this dude. Now we can set up the amount of damage and how much per second. You know, we have a cooldown of two seconds. Let's just make it even smaller. Let's just make it like half a second. And for example, give one damage for half a second. For example. Or you can make it even faster. For example, like this. Yeah. We can, of course, you know, balance this later. But for now, yeah, it's this. But there's another thing. I need a new script. This script can basically be 
platform effector why it opens visual studio and not automatically opens the new script it's beyond my comprehension but you know unity what can i say come on don't make me stuck in here forever there you go and hydrate my friends that's what i have just did drink water so we have our platform effector this platform effector basically just going to have an on trigger enter and on trigger exit so let's just why not just copy pasta from somewhere in here must be some come on will I need to there you go we have one so this can be private for now Private, private, this is actually exit, and I want to call this object. Now, I want something specific, I don't want none of this, I don't care about this, I care about objects, and if the object has the tag player, I want to do something, and I'm actually going to do something even faster, which is this, and exit, you know, CP is in the chats, welcome back my friends, welcome back, oh hey there, it's some sort of foreign code that I don't understand, foreign language I automatically translated language to code fantastic welcome back so basically this is the language of gods gods talk with this and you know what gods talk with this language they create worlds they create worlds with simple words Yes, indeed. Why do I call this the language of gods? Because basically we create worlds using this language. So there you go. Programming language, it's the gods language. Now that is good language, bad language, you know. But it's language to create worlds nonetheless. But getting back to here. So we have the platform effector, it affects the player and let me think, if the player collides, enters this thing, object dot parent game object Transform, goddamn it, transform, parent, equals to this, and equals to transform, and parent, there you go. I don't need game object in here, I just need transform, right? Because the collider, collider transform, parent, it's this parent, right? Yeah. Hmm. 
No. I think that's correct. No. If it's no, it's probably going to do an error. Can I get sin? I will leave it no, because you know, whatever. Let's just test it. Let's just move in here. So if game equals loads loaded in the computer, open game. That's actually called pseudocode. And it's actually a pretty cool exercise for people to start coding, you know? Uh, for example, you, um, you want an object to do something, and so you write like that, exactly like that, and then turn that in actual code. That's actually a strategy that coders do. And they do that constantly in their head. So some programmers do it actually writes on uh, paper, computer, whatever, or notes, writes it down and then turns that into code. But most programmers actually do that in their heads. So let's just see if our cow thing is patrolling. It is. Now let's just try. Ride it. Come on, ride the cow. Bruh. Why are you doing that? Why, why you are like that? So there's something that I'm not getting it. So we have the player, you know. Oh, I, of course I have forgot. Of course. Of course I have forgot to add the stupid script to get yeah, it. So enemy. I think it's P platform. Where is it? Platform info. Legacy code. Just ignore that. And there you go. So platform effector. In here. Let's try it out. If CP exists, give cash. That's actually not how it works. That would be pretty cool. I will like if Kadu exists equals millionaire, you know? If only that existed. I can do that in a game, though. But that's actually the game that I create, not actually, you know, the world. If you ask God, he may do it, he may not. If you are religious, you know, if you believe in those entities, or entity, you know, depending on your beliefs. But, you know, the last time I asked something to God, he doesn't, he didn't do nothing, so, you know. But if billionaire equals submarine, <laughs> no, actually, billionaire plus submarine equals death. That's actually the thing. Or if you want to do it in pseudo code, you can actually do. If billionaire is in submarine, death. That's actually that, you know. Okay, there's problems occurring. There's actually problems 
happening. Now I can't make it no. I need to make it different. Let me think. How does one do that? Like finding the parent of the parent, like the the base one, which is the scene. There's stuff going on in the chat. Next game idea there. If Taco Bell equals run, bath time in the toilet. <laughs> that XCX. Maybe. I never eat it on Taco Bell, so. But I have heard that, you know. You may uh, be stuck in, a, in the bathroom for a while, you know? Let me do something here. So, object transform parent will be equal to. Now it's Google time. So, Unity get the scene. So, let me just. So this dot not like that. I the parent an object from another. It's basically what I want. If you don't want to detach children but the parent the object, not sure. Transform parent? No. That's actually what I'm doing. Come on, man. It doesn't work. But there is a lot of uploads for some stupid reason. Remove object, compare tag, player, and then object, transform, parent, boom. No. You know? Actually, let, let's just do a debug.log. No. And in here. Yay! Let's just do it test by test, just to, you know, check it. We have the damage thing and we have the platform effector. Let's just test it now. So we constantly do yay and nay. And the last one is yay. I think that may be the problem, but why? User are the fault. Only the cow can be ground. 
You are not ground. Yes, indeed. Cool bug facts. Facts, they are everywhere. Yes, yes, indeed. We can get rid of them. They are everywhere. Those stupid bugs. But that is the problem. It's colliding and not colliding all the freaking time. Yep. Titanic flute. Maybe I should just start it easily, you know? Let's make it out and just disable this door. The cow is now hidden. Well, we need the movement script. So let's just catch the movement script. Movement. Hit enemy right. There we go. I will call this platform because that's what I want to do. I want to add another thing horizontal, and I want it. Big and down. There we go, something like this. And then I actually want to add a square in there. Which I want to make it go down a little bit and make it wide it needs to go even more down let's just try 6 yeah something like that it's not the enemy thing that I actually want or is it Yes, it needs to have the movement, and there's no patrol thing in here. So, patrol as well. Come on. And I want this waypoint, which is this last one, in the patrol system. Come on. There you go. Let me see this moving. So, masterpiece. Another not so fun bug fact. For everybody you see, there's 10 more bugs. You can see the yes. It's like a can of worms. You see one, you open it, and there's a ton inside. Then the monster is vibing. Yes, indeed. A worse no longer fun bug fact, by killing the bugs you can see, you are helping natural selection to select smarter bugs that can hide better. Shit, now you have got me spooked. Yes indeed, but in order to eradicate them, there's something that must be done my friends. And in this case... Let's just focus in here, you know? 
I don't want this to attack. I just wanted this thing to move, you know? It's not gonna move because there is no rigid body. Now it may move. Maybe. Got them this thing. It's giving me work. So it's going to be on ground. Actually, I want this to be this one. So, platform. Petrol thing is this one. This square doesn't have colliders. This does. There's the trigger itself. There's patrol, and actually the trigger can be bigger. Where is it? Not this one. I want the other. Actually, I'm going to make it vertical and... Yeah, something like that. Why you don't move? So you have the enemy, capsule collider, rigid body, yeah. Simulated. I don't think you should just be stuck in here. You have the patrol thing, which is going to tell the enemy thing. Unless. Patrol thing needs to be in here. This is just where you indicate the way. So, patrol in here. There we go. Now we can test this. It's not switching because, you know, the collider, yeah, it's different. So let me just fix that. Copy component, past component in here, because, you know. Wait a second, why I'm... Uh, it wasn't a rigid body that I wanted. Come on, I want capsule collider, this one, copy component, past component as new, there we go, and you are too big, so let's just make you small, yeah, something like that, now, you, Your platform can now be go back to where it was, which is horizontal, like two and one, or even smaller. Let's just make it three dot three. Yeah, three is nice. Zero dot two. There you go. Properly done. I think. Is this done correctly? If I click on this waypoint, 
waypoints. There you go. I think it is done correctly. Now, the objective is Why are you not moving? Why are you not moving? God damn it! Why you do this to me? Why you do this to me? Remove. So rigid body, capsule, another capsule, which is trigger, platform effector, enemy. Fantastic. That's what I want. Now this, the square. Transform, sprite renderer, and all that. Why did you stop moving? There's a way in here. There's a trigger to see the thing, you know. And you have the moving option I just can't understand sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't god damn it going to do something now it does for some reason it's just gonna stay in here stuck no you work okay fantastic it has a woken some prototype bullshit in here happening now let me just do this I think this is not gonna work for a specific reason. I want transform or do I want the rigid body? I want I think I want the rigid body. Rigid body to D or V Yeah. You can be private. I know by default it's private but you know good practice. And now private fix it update If RV isn't null, then RV 
dot velocity yield plus equals to transform dot or better get component rigid body 2D dot velocity and to make this properly let's just make player RV and just make this RV and private what the hell am I writing private so private start and this rv equals to get component velocity and dot velocity there we go right no there's still this as well now this this is the thing that we want Instead of moving around with parent things, this will be equals to null. There you go. But this, this does it. What we want is basically object dot get component rigid body 2d and we want the player rv be equals to this right let's just try it Gado's a very private boy, yes indeed. Everything must be private, unless... Unless... So this is not working. Oh well. Uh, oh well, that's. I guess it could work with Ian having to move gameplay wise. Some games do that. No, 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 no. I actually teach it students how to properly do that, but I have forgot, you know, because it was a long time ago. And now I'm pissed off because I don't remember how to do it. <laughs> Which is very bad.
that I can actually search for it. Let me search for it. Because why not? You can always move it to something else if you want or Google it real quick. Don't worry, we are almost on the end of stream, so I'm going to try finish it with it actually working, you know? So, platform. I'm just doing some quick notes things in here just to make sure. Just to make sure. So, let me see... Collision dot transform parent, collision transforms... Set parent transform... Yes, it's just the parent thing. Smooth dump. Transform dot position equals to smooth dump. Now that that's another thing. Don't care about that. What I want I will need to actually do transform. I didn't want to do the transform. I have done this correctly before. Binary solo game is raiding with a party of... Well, thank you for the raid. Thank you very much. We appreciate that. You know? Thank you very much for the raiding. I was just thinking about... Stuff that will make our character literally be stuck on top of this platform. But the thing is, it doesn't work because of physics. And I'm not enjoying it at all. I'm really not enjoying it at all. But yes, it's working. I'm doing the stuff right, so why the hell are you not doing that? I've done this a, a lot of times, and now that I'm actually streaming, Pesky physics, right? Pesky physics. And the sad thing is, I have done this a bunch of times and I don't remember how I fixed this. It's something that it's, it's like my brain fog or something. Maybe it's because we are close to dinner. You know?
was good. Got everything done, so here am I. Glad to hear that. Well, as you can see, I have not everything done. And I'm stuck in here with the stupid thing that I want our character to literally ride this platform. Because, you know, we have this enemy in here. I actually have disabled it. We have this enemy in here. Let me just show the enemy. I deactivated in here. We have this enemy. And I want this enemy to be rideable. So the, our character can be on top of it and ride this enemy. The problem is not working. And I have done this a, a lot of times and I have forgot how to do it, basically. And now I'm trying to remember. I'm checking some notes in the past that I have. But the notes basically tells me about messing around with the parent things and I have already done that and it doesn't work and yeah. Now I'm analyzing my notes. So it's basically on the platform. And in the platform I'm doing this right. So why the heck are you not moving? There's a glider to the Doesn't matter the platform effector to the because whatever. I actually want the thing that basically makes it stuck on top of it. That's what I want. So there's that. Come on, moving platforms. That's what I want. Smooth player in platform. Right, there is a transform for our player. Right, let's just try and do that. Instead of rigid body, let's just yeah, transform. Transform. Player transform. There we go. There's the player transform. On collision enter. Let me just remove this because whatever. On trigger enter to the if it's the player. I don't need any more this in here. So if it's the player, I want the player transform. be equals to object dot transform dot wait a second what am I doing in here oh I know that I know this so instead of calling this transform let's just rename this to a proper name so player parent so player parent will be equals to object transform parent. There we go. And now our new object, our new object, our new parent will be object dot transform dot set parent, and will be this platform. That's what we want. Come on. There you go. That's what we want. And on exit, we want to do something different. So we want basically the object that, which is our player, transform, 
bad parent which is going to be our player parent maybe let's just try it you know doesn't work I mean it worked it actually worked but not the way I wanted this platform doesn't have our character if I jump on top of it It not only doesn't un, unparent me, it actually creates even more problems. Don't that set them both to the same thing? Uh, no. So basically what I was trying to do is basically to pick our player and to make the parent of our player the platform so let me just actually I'm going to do something even smarter to explain what's what I'm trying to accomplish basically so I'm going to put the platform in here I'm going to pick up the player and I'm going to deactivate its physics where are you? physics body Mm. Collision detection, static. I don't want that. Let's just remove it because, you know, I don't want physics in here. If I test this, you know. See? This is what I want to do. I want the player to be on top of this platform and the physics to not mess around with the player. The thing is, I don't have physics, I can't move. Well, I could make the player move without physics, but you know, I don't want to do that. This is the objective. But if I... Where are the physics? I will need to revert. But if I add physics to our character, he doesn't ride the platform. And that's what pisses me off. Because, you know, I add physics, he should stay glued to the platform. It should have the same values, you know? But it doesn't. In my other projects, that worked, but in here doesn't, and I'm trying to understand why. So that set them both to the same thing? Where's physics? Everywhere. Yeah, um, it's basically, and it doesn't unparent our character for some reason. Wait a sec, let me just... So th there is this parent, then I set parent to this. Maybe I'm doing something wrong in here. Let me just confirm that I'm not doing something that actually is not proper. I need to make this known. So I need to make this null on trigger enter 2D, I detect the player, I save the parent thing, right? Exactly, and then we get transform set parents to this one, platform effector. 
enlarge it, and then there you go. Exactly. This node will not do nothing. But that's the thing. That's basically the thing. Not physics. Yes, indeed, it's the goddamn physics. And I can't end the stream without the freaking bug. God damn it. This is... Uh, oh, I see. This is on the thing you jump on, not the player. Uh, yes. Um, so there's things that are not working, basically. So. It detects the player. But it doesn't remove it from the parent. So see, there is the platform. The player, it's basically inside the platform. But its movement doesn't follow the platform. Neither does work the freaking unparent thing. Which is something that is actually... Not working properly. So let's just make a debug log. So, starting the debugging! Now, what I want is this dot name. I want this. Transform dot parent dot name. And I want this. Let's try it. Now it's shooting off errors. 14, 25. Because it's no. Let me just try something very stupid that doesn't make sense, but it may work. Actually, I want this out. I want this game object to be zero, zero, zero. Let's just try something stupid, but actually make it work. Let me just move our player here. So. The parent of this player thing is, you know, this game object, this empty game object, it's zero, zero, zero. And we want this platform to be the new parent, so let's just check and test. That might be it. No, it doesn't. Now we can analyze. So, the first is the game object. Correct. That worked. Now, it detected platform. Great. So, game object, platform, and then exit. Exit. And then platform, platform, platform. So, for some reason, it's not saving the game object as a parent. Why? What have I done wrong? So I have the parent. Player parent, transform player parent. Object, transform, parent. 
the parent of the Transformer. It's something stupid like this, but it shouldn't. Transform of the parent. Player parent. And then we set the new transform, which is going to be the platform. And then we revert that to the other one. Let's see. There's four. It does not work. Why you don't work? What's your problem? We have a capsule collider, trigger. So we have a patrol, rigid body, capsule collider, not trigger, and another is trigger. And then there's this one. I'm going to remove this capsule collider from here. Maybe it's that. Just made. Well, well, well. <laughs> the bugs have grown. The bags have grown. So it detects the enter and then the exit. But then does the bloom, you know, starts freaking out in there. Because for some reason doesn't detect the thing. What if I reverse it? You know? Copy component and past component as new. So we have the this can remove, I don't want that in here, I want the platform effector and the, I want the collider, which is the, the capital collider, this one, copy component, past component as new, so there you go. I actually will need to move this around, just make it properly in place, somewhat, you know, somewhere around in here. Yeah, that works. And now this one, where are you? I will need to make it a vertical one. On. There you go. Doesn't matter. So looks like it's correctly attaching, detaching now. Now you just need to actually make Hello the there. body move. Yes, indeed. Hello there. Yes, indeed.
Don't run from me. Oh, I forgot, of course, I forgot to remove the platform effector from here. There you go. There's platform effector, caps collider, and there's no rigid body or any bullshit in here. Let me just see what happens. So it works. Great. Let me just check something. Hmm. I'm starting to know what actually happened. Just gonna spell it. Spam the message, looks like it's currently attaching, detaching now. Yeah, I, I have read that. Don't worry, don't worry. Don't worry, Kenobi. I have done that. Yeah. I have seen what's happening. Now, the... Now we just need to actually make the rigid vo body move. That is the thing. I have che I already check what actually does the other thing, you know, in the... In my previous code, in the thing that I have done previously, which is basically the movement of this platform, it's being done by the rigid body. But the code that I have done before, it didn't affect the movement of the rigid body, it basically moved directly in transform. And we don't want that. We actually don't want that. What we want... Is basically our player to maintain the same speed as our platform plus the speed that is going to affect it, you know? So we may not want this. Don't worry, Kenobi is quite the quote. <laughs> yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Want it in a shirt, lol. Well, maybe it's a new shirt. Who knows? Maybe a new ne meme has been born. Hmm. Well, that's what happens when I'm trying to do something and another thing is actually completely different. If I make the movement actually, you know, by transform. So let's just do something pretty fast. So private, void, fix update, and transform dot position dot x will be equals to transform dot position dot x plus plus one multiplied by delta time. I mean, if it's an update, I don't need it like that. So let's just make it 
point one. What do you want? Transform position because it's not a variable. Okay, vectors to and then I just maintain the same thing. Alright. Transform position X plus one Fs. Are you happy now? Not only that. I need to disable the enemy thing in here because that's what's moving this platform, you know. Oh, let's just move it. Not sure. See, now it's working somehow. Not sure how your player controller works, but could you just keep the platform effect on the enemy and have it set the player's velocity to its own velocity? Yes, but then uh, the player must also move on top of that and I don't want to mess too much with that. Because the player controller basically controls... Where is it? So basically, I set the new velocity with the horizontal input plus speed, you know, and there's the thing. This overrides the velocity applied on the by the platform because you know it will need to be before the fixed update, and it doesn't do that. Do I have late fix and update? Private void. Do I have late? I have late update, but uh, do I have late fix and update? I uh, no. There is not a thing in unit. I only have late update, not late fixed update. So, yes, there you go. Because I could affect the player thing in here, but the, then the player couldn't move on top of the platform. Now I have set up a way for the, the player to be on top of the platform itself. But, you know, let's make it even slower just to make sure. Wait in a little bit, and then let's just ride it. What the hell is going on? Is trigger... Capsule Collider. There is a Collider. And there's this. Collision continuous because you know things. Now this does it matter? So what I have. What have I done wrong? There's platform effector in here. Do I still have platform effector in here? I hope not. The enemy is still on for some reason. Maybe it was that. Let's just remove it entirely. 
So we have a capsule, we have another capsule, and we have a leisure body, and we have patrol. Same of these as well, doesn't matter. Oh. transform parent transform from parent position this is just debugging by the way I'm not gonna use literally this code I just want to apply this code to actually the um, our enemy just testing things you know There you go. Working. Now, I just need to pick this and apply it to our enemy. This way. But you know, that's going to be for another day because I'm already late for dinner. And I have to, you know, end the stream. So, for those who, if you want to know what happened next, basically you can uh, follow us on Twitch. The, there is a button down below. There is also uh, the Discord channel, because I usually... I usually... Um, uh, post the, um, the Discord the resolution of these bugs so ooh, thank you npc dev thank you for the following thank you very much uh, and yes uh, we have a discord channel link is down below and if you uh, there is also the command for our discord in chat you can join our community there and uh, we basically going to um, well if i resolve this problem basically making the player move on top of this enemy I may or may not post in there on discord the fix resolved and for other news as well and every single Wednesday and Friday we stream at the same hour Wednesdays is basically let's plays to uh, experiment other indie games and to get uh, new ideas and experience you know we always love to spread the love uh, with the uh, indie game community and of course every Friday we usually stream the development of our game which is this one drawing right now there is also other projects that we have in the making so let's just show our website open ads because I don't want to dox myself showing the Chrome and ugs.pt which is our website links are down below there is also links for our socials by the way uh, we all we post in there other stuff but what i wanted to show you is basically our other projects which is xaria and red run um, the alphas are al available on itch.io you can try it there I must warn because Xauria, the alpha in there is on JavaScript using the P5 library. Uh, the Xauria development has evolved into Godot, and you can see the development of Xauria in the previous streams uh, on our YouTube channel. So you can, uh, you know, if you are inclined to see the development of Xauria, you can check out the VODs of previous streams in there. Right now it's on pause because we are developing the uh, drawing. But yeah, another game developed in uh, Godot, which is another game engine. But Red Run, which is a platform, it's an alpha as well. 
it's a platformer developed in Unity as well, so it's the same game engine as we are developing Dryon. If you want to try that game as well, there you go. With all the plugs done, thank you everyone for watching and I see you next week. Wasn't the raid high already?